My little Corvair. Yeah, my little Corvair. Frag her up. Whee! Up she goes. Time to unload the Corvair from the trailer because we're going west, young man. To bring Mrs. CW's Corvair to piss her. And on the way back, we're going to pick up another ramp side that I bought. Another piece of junk. I got lots of junk. Well, not too bad. 40 year old tires are still holding air. <laughs> Put a tiger in your tank. Fit Sprint, you got $15,000. You could restore this thing. I need $20,000 because I want to add air conditioning, power sunroof, and electric windows, and a full rotisserie restoration. Strip it 100%, fix it 100%. Make it the nicest thing I own and then wreck it. Don't hit the poles with the T-Ruck. There's a big compressor. Yep. Giant size. All right. Time to load this baby. Unload it. Hook it up, rather. Hook it up. And crank this baby up and get it off the trailer. And whatever happened with that tilt trailer, I called the guy five times. Doesn't get back to me. Don't know why, it's still there. I just passed by an hour ago. Alrighty. Let's connect that to this and get that off of this and hit the road tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's a nice day today. Not too hot. Good working weather. Alright, I've been looking for the breakers on the panel. Got a whole bunch of them up top. Yeah, electric panels. General Electric, deadly in. Way down at the bottom. There we go. Kentucky! Oh my Kentucky home! We've got this unstrapped. You can drop the tailgate. Hang on. Whee! Plunk. Spare tire. Now I gotta unhook all four tie downs, put air in the tires. Got air leaking over here somewhere. Uh, lots of work to strap these babies down. Doesn't take five minutes, let me tell you. Jackson. All right. Crank these old Michelin X's up my grandfather. Told my father a 69 Cadillac. Oh, be quiet. Try to make a video! Good. I'll tell you the story in a second. Pretty good. How do you like that? So, as I was saying, in 1971, my father bought a 69 Cadillac Sedan DeVille from my grandfather, his father, and it had Michelin X tires. Oh, give me a break! Cadillac that my father had bought from his father two years earlier was a 67 Cadillac white one with a black interior and it had underdash air and it used to spit ice cubes out. Anyways, so my father bought this Cadillac from his father and it was a little soft. The reason I'm pumping the tires up is because I need the clearance to get this thing off the trailer. I'm going to jack this thing all the way up. 
So the 69 Cadillac, which was light chocolate brown, uh, and it had a black interior also. It had Michelin X tires, and listen, I was nine, 11 years old, and it had a Michelin X sticker right there. Michelin X with all the flags of the countries around the world, all around the sticker. That was 1971, 40 years ago. Can you tell I'm a gearhead? All I care about is cars and car-related crap. Uh-oh, somebody's going rolling off the trailer. That is not a good thing. Wouldn't that be funny, huh? Whee! Oops. Uh, yeah, I only got one wheel. I better chalk the wheels. It's hearing the thing. Yep, there she goes. Bombs away! Right into the furnace. Had enough problems recently with stuff. There we go. Nice piece of red cedar. There. Wheel chalk. Still rolling. That's how accidents happen. One minute you're having a good time making videos, and the next minute, splat. I do have the emergency brake on if you can believe it. That's not going to do much. Yeah, I have the emergency brake on, but who knows when the last thing, last time this thing worked properly. Oh, it's going to ride right over that. Yeah, right to the last notch needs to be adjusted. It's not a big deal, but... <laughs> Can I open the door now? Yep, yeah, just clears. See, putting a little bit of air in the tires. Got me an extra inch, a few centimeters. Not too bad for almost 50 years old, 40, 46 years old, 1966. Better put two wheel chocks. Never trust one. Truck jack. Always back up whatever you have. You never have enough safety items. Because stuff happens. You have it all figured out and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe it just happened. Yeah, like when I was rolling the ramp side off the trailer, steering wheel whipped and put a scratch in the door. Not a big deal on that hunk of junk, but still, you don't want to wreck your stuff unnecessarily. Remember when I bought these straps in Phoenix? Boy, how time flies, huh? Just by luck, I saw a tow truck guy and I asked him, where do you buy your straps and binding? He says, oh, just go down this street and go around the back and it's a train track in the way and it's hard to find. You'll never find it if you don't have instructions how to get there. Yeah, it was a towing and impound yard, that's it. And I went inside and I asked him. He told me exactly where the place was that sells the track down equipment. It was B and D sales. B and D. Barbara and David or Betty and Derek. These hooks are expensive. Twelve dollars each. The whole thing cost me two hundred bucks. Four wheels. I put the wood there to stop it from chafing on the body. I wired it in place because it was chafing like crazy on the body right through the straps. Because as you're driving the vehicle's vibrating, it'll shift, it'll move several inches. And uh, that's not a good thing. So I'm gonna let the jack back down. Crank this baby up. Because it's gonna roll away. I don't need to do any extra damage to it. I'm gonna throw a battery in it. I got some good stale stinky gas. Whee! HD mode. Junk. Got my diesel fuel filter that I picked up from Pisser in the middle of the country, Texas. And the one on my truck is leaking. And my buddy, Where's Little Feller, sent me a video that this heater is that a heater or a water sensor? It's a water sensor. That's the newer style. It looks like 88 and up or someone's 
put shrink tubing on it. Anyways, it's the water sensor. And the video he sent me is different. This looks like mine, but anyways, mine's leaking. Not a lot, just the occasional drip. Drip. Oh yeah, right there. Drip. Yep. Alright, battery in. Crank her up.